Today, we're diving into something every man wants to know. How to naturally increase your sex appeal and become absolutely magnetic to women. We're not talking cheesy pickup lines or trying too hard. We're talking real psychology-backed tips that will boost your confidence, make you more attractive and leave her obsessed. From mastering body language and emotional intelligence to the secrets of playful teasing and keeping just the right amount of mystery, we're breaking it all down. Stick around. This is going to be game-changing. Here are 10 psychology-backed tips and self-development strategies to increase your sex appeal and keep women intrigued. I'll explain how they work in real-life situations so you can relate and see why they're so effective. Number 1. Confidence is key, but not arrogance. Ever notice how confident people seem to light up a room? Confidence is magnetic. It's the kind of energy that shows you're secure in who you are, and people naturally gravitate towards that. Think about walking into a room and holding eye contact, not in a creepy way, but in a way that says, I belong here. Women notice that. But remember, there's a fine line between confidence and arrogance. Confidence invites, arrogance repels. So be self-assured, but stay humble. Confidence is being able to make decisions, lead and handle difficult situations with calm composure. Number 2. Emotional intelligence. Understand her, don't just hear her. It's not about being a nice guy who agrees with everything. Women appreciate men who can tune in emotionally. When she's talking about her day, don't just nod and wait for your turn to speak. Actually listen and respond to how she's feeling. If she says, I had a rough day, instead of giving a generic, that sucks, you could say, that sounds frustrating, do you want to talk about it? Emotional intelligence shows that you care, and nothing is more attractive than a man who makes a woman feel understood. Number 3. Take care of your appearance, but don't be obsessed. Women notice details. If you're well-groomed, wearing clothes that fit, and smell good, you're already ahead of the game. You don't need a six-pack, but you should put in effort. A well-fitted jacket, clean shoes, and a fresh haircut make you look like you care about yourself, and that's sexy. Think about it this way. If you saw a woman with messy hair, clothes that didn't match, and she smelled off, would you be drawn to her? Exactly. Your appearance is the first impression. Make it count. Number 4. Mysteriousness is sexy. Don't be an open book. Humans are naturally curious, and women love a little mystery. If you spill everything about yourself on the first date, where's the intrigue? Share just enough to pique her interest, but keep some details back. Let her want to know more. For instance, if she asks about your weekend, don't just give a plain answer like, I went to the gym and watched Netflix. Instead, say something like, I had a pretty interesting weekend, but I'll tell you more about that next time. Curiosity sparks attraction. Number 5. Playful teasing, but keep it fun, not mean. Teasing shows that you're confident and comfortable enough not to take things too seriously. Women love playful banter, but here's the trick. It has to be light-hearted. If she spills a drink, jokingly saying, look at you causing trouble already, can break the ice. But if you go too far and make her feel self-conscious, it backfires. Keep it fun and remember, the point is to make her laugh, not make her feel bad. Number 6. Body language. Let it do the talking. Body language is one of the most powerful ways we communicate without even saying a word. Women pick up on subtle cues, and you want to make sure yours are saying the right things. It's about appearing approachable and confident while making her feel comfortable. For example, when you're on a date, sitting slightly angled toward her instead of straight on can create a more inviting atmosphere. Mirroring her body language, such as leaning in when she does, or subtly mimicking her gestures, builds a subconscious sense of connection and shows you're in tune with her. Another critical aspect is eye contact. 
Hold her gaze for just a moment longer than usual. It signals interest without being overbearing. But don't forget about your hands. Avoid fidgeting or crossing your arms, as these can signal discomfort or defensiveness. Instead, keep your movements calm and deliberate. A casual touch on her arm when you're making a point can create a sense of intimacy, but it's key to keep it respectful and pay attention to her reaction. Number seven, have ambition, but stay grounded. Ambition is attractive because it shows that you have a vision for your life and nothing speaks to a woman more than a man who is driven. But here's where men often trip up. They think being ambitious means constantly talking about their career or showing off how busy they are. In reality, true ambition speaks for itself. It's about working hard for what you want, but also being present when you're with her. A man who is always on his phone or talking about his hustle 24-7 can come across as self-centered and unavailable. Women are drawn to men with goals because it shows a sense of purpose. It could be as big as starting your own business or as personal as mastering a new skill like playing the guitar. What matters is that you're passionate about something and working toward it. The grounded part is where you show her that while you're driven, you also make time for what's important, including her. For example, if you've got a busy week but still carve out time for a date, she'll see you as someone who can balance ambition with your personal life, which is a rare and appealing trait. Number 8. Sense of humor. Make her laugh. There's truth to the saying, if you can make her laugh, you can make her fall in love. A sense of humor shows that you're fun and can handle life's ups and downs with a smile. Laughter breaks down walls and makes people feel closer. Even if you're not a stand-up comedian, being able to laugh at yourself or see the humor in everyday situations makes you more relatable. Just make sure your jokes aren't at her expense. Laugh with her, not at her. Number nine, be a leader, but not a dictator. Leadership doesn't mean always taking control or calling the shots. It's about having the confidence to guide a situation while also valuing her opinions and needs. In dating, leadership can look as simple as planning the evening rather than leaving all the decisions to her. For instance, instead of saying, what do you want to do tonight? You could say, I've got a couple of ideas for tonight. Would you prefer a casual dinner or something a little more adventurous? This shows you're taking charge, but you still respect her input. Good leadership in relationships isn't just about the big gestures either. It's in how you handle everyday situations. If a conflict arises, being a leader means staying calm, listening to her concerns and working toward a solution rather than getting defensive or dismissive. A real leader shows strength in tough situations and makes her feel secure. Women are naturally drawn to this kind of emotional leadership because it shows maturity and reliability without coming across as controlling or rigid. Number 10. Be passionate about something, anything. Passion is often misunderstood. It doesn't mean you have to be obsessed with your job or a particular hobby. It means having something in your life that excites you, something that lights a fire inside you and gives you a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Whether it's sports, art, travel or fitness, when you speak about something you're passionate about, it makes you more engaging and interesting to others, especially women. The key is that your passion doesn't have to match hers. In fact, sometimes it's more intriguing when it doesn't. If you're really into rock climbing and she's never tried it, your enthusiasm can inspire her to see you in a new light. It shows you have depth and she'll be curious to learn more about what makes you tick. But there's a balance. You don't want to dominate the conversation with your interests. Instead, weave your passions into conversations naturally. For example, if she asks how your weekend was, you might say, I hit the climbing gym. It's one of the things I'm obsessed with. 
It always challenges me in new ways. You're showing her a glimpse of your inner world, which is both attractive and intriguing. Passion, when genuine, is contagious, and it keeps the spark of attraction alive. Now that you've got the tools to boost your confidence and sex appeal, it's time to put them into action and see the results for yourself. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow and lets me know you're enjoying the content. And I want to hear from you. Drop a comment below with which tip you're excited to try out or share your own experiences. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips on leveling up your game and becoming the best version of yourself. See you in the next one.